So right now I am at the Swarnabhumi airport. In about half an hour, we will board the flight. I have booked Thai Airways direct flight, 12 hour flight. After COVID, this is the first time going on such a long trip and also first time going um, on a holiday, I think, to another country because all the holidays that we have been getting, we have been going to Sri Lanka. To... Okay, Sura is also there. I think he is also making some vlogs. If you want to see much more clips of what's really happening, I, I would recommend to see his vlogs. Hello, after 15 hours, <laughs> 12 hours in the plane, Three hours at the immigration. It's just a girl. Immigration here to enter Paris. Finally, we are out. Took luggages. Now we're gonna walk, and we have to buy a mobile SIM, which works across Europe, not only just one country. Um, there's a service provider called Orange. Then we have to find our train and travel all the way back to our hotel. Yeah. We have no idea which train, uh, but. Google has helped us. Let's see it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see. Welcome to finally made it to Paris yesterday and we were really really tired once we came to the hotel we just walked around the area and then uh, settled in for the day so today we just left the hotel and now walking to the train station so from our hotel to Paris Eiffel Tower we are going to the Eiffel Tower today um, it's about 20 minutes train ride it's an iconic Iconic Eiffel uh, Tower landmark, right? The Eiffel Tower is the most iconic landmark in the world. Yeah, okay. Yeah, highest number of uh, visitors. Okay. Uh, that visitor monument is the Eiffel Tower. Okay. How do I know this? <laughs> Google. <laughs> so yes. that's like number one in our list. So all dressed up, <laughs> all dressed up for Paris. Um, so let's see what happens. Stay with us. Paris because there are five zones zone one two three four five zone one is where all the key highlights key attractions are there that like Eiffel Tower the Opera the Louvre everything is in zone one we were staying in zone two so we took the train and came to zone one so got out of the train it's not easy to vlog and also uh, to be the navigator First look of Eiffel Tower. Now we are going to walk towards yeah. the Eiffel Tower as you can see. Hello guys, so we booked a guided tour to go on top of the Eiffel Tower. As you can see, uh, so you can actually go right to the top of Eiffel Tower if you come ever. That's a must-do experience. Um, so we are waiting for them to start the tour and then we go to the top of the Eiffel Tower and let's see what kind of view and what other things out there. I booked the guided tour through getyourguide.com. Even you can try it through tripadvisor.com, kluk.com or getyourguide.com. And there are other sites also to book these guided tours. That's the best way to reach the top without waiting for too long in queues. 
So don't forget that Eiffel Tower is the world's number one Morning. attraction. Um, so the lines are crazy. Just see, this is one tenth. This is one tenth of the lines. So we booked a guided tour because of that. So they have like the skip the line, uh, fast track access. So. So because of that, you you get to go in a bit faster than others. However, still you need to stay in the security lines. That's a must. So this is uh, when we've uh, finished the security check and we've come, you know, right uh, in like close yeah. proximity to the I think the there Eiffel were two Tower. security checks. I think we are now going to the second security yeah. check and they were very friendly, but it's good no to go through yeah. the security check so you are, you know that you're safe. So now we are in the elevator. Of course there are stairs, but uh, we decided yes. to take the elevator. You can take the stairs also. Yeah. That will also be an experience, but since we were going to the top, we took the elevator. Yeah. Great views. Um, so it was a good experience. Yeah, it was no? a lovely experience. Uh, tip is uh, be careful of your belongings in the elevator. Yes. So many people. Right? Yes, anywhere in Paris or yeah. anywhere in the world for that awesome. matter. Whoa, look at this view. <laughs> yeah, this is the view like uh, you get of the whole of Paris. Yeah, you can see yeah. everything. This is the Palais du Chalet. We go there a bit later. The this is the Seine, Seine River. River. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Right. So if you're walking across the sides, you can see. The entire Paris. Yes, right? this is the garden right in front of the Eiffel Tower and that black building, tall black building, they call it the middle finger of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because the Parisians didn't like there's some building uh, so obstructing the view. We are trying to take a photo. Yeah. So it's a bit difficult actually to take photos there, right? So this is the gift shop, no? Souvenirs. Uh, now we've come down and we are trying to take a photo, I think, just under the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Actually, more than the top of the Eiffel Tower, the beauty of the Eiffel Tower is when you are right, uh, like gazing at gazing it at from it, afar. Right? Yeah. So this is Palais de Chalet, right? Yes. This yeah. is free entrance. Amazing vibe there. Lots of crowds, but great to do a picnic. There are gardens by the side of this, and that's the best view of Eiffel Tower wow. you can get. So this is the iconic photo, right? People Amazing. take. Yes. Natasha and Sura. Paris 2023. <laughs> Thai tuk-tuk. Yeah. This is Thailand. This is the hop-on hop-off bus. This was a great experience. So when you buy a ticket, again through the same sources I said, you get to hop on the bus and then hop off wherever you want around the key highlights of Paris. Yeah, yeah. So it's really a cost-effective way and a less tiring way to see the entire city because yes. you know it uh, takes you to all the prominent places yes so i think that uh, you know going on this if you can dedicate a full day mm. you can uh, cover the entire of the yes city. because they go to all the places like the louvre the notre dame yeah. arc de triomphe this is the opera you see so if you want you can hop off here from the bus and those buses keep on coming every 15 minutes after a lot of walking and exploring paris finally came to a place for dinner uh, now it's around 7 p.m <laughs> Yes. So this is the best restaurant in the world. He's supposed to own this place. He spoke to us. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. So after a long day of walking, we came for dinner. Uh, it's around 7 p.m. So we came to this place, La Cafe du Commerce. Um, we got a recommendation from the two YouTubers who we follow, the La Frenchies. It, they have a really nice channel. And if you're coming to Paris, you can follow them. Shall we go? Yes. Or do you want to? No, let's go. It has been started in 1921. Nice. Let's try some real French cuisine. To find the best food and restaurants in Paris, walk away from the tourist attractions and towards the back alleys of Paris. You will find the best food there. Welcome to Café du Commerce since 1921, very highly rated restaurant in France. 
we put a reservation as well because after we went about 10 15 minutes the restaurant was full it was a very nice cozy place they gave us a superb service it was an authentic uh, parisian restaurant right i mean uh, yeah it had these little tables and the staff was so friendly yeah and, and we, we got to taste rabbit and we tasted some steak and this was uh, potato and cheese even that was uh, really really nice how was the food sura for you yeah the food was excellent i think oh my uh, god look at nice. this <laughs> mm, that's the chocolate profit roll this was one of the best dishes we had in paris <sighs> i miss it yum wow amazing we were so lucky we wanted to see the eiffel tower lights so we went back to eiffel tower and this was right at 9 pm every hour the first 5 minutes they have these lights on uh, like the bubbly lights um it was an amazing view Just before the sparkles came on there was like a nice sparkly noise Yeah, that uh, came out from the Eiffel Tower, and then these and people lights. were screaming and clapping, and that was such a nice vibe. And actually, I thought even this time was a great time to be around Eiffel Tower.